Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about a strong number. The definition is if sum of factorial of its digit is equal to number itself. So suppose if I enter 145, if I do sum of factorial of its digit, uh, factorial 1 plus factorial 4 plus factorial 5. So the factorial 1 value count 1, factorial 4 value 24, factorial 5, 120. So if I do the sum, then it comes 145. So 145 equal to 145. So this number is equal. So this is a, a strong number. Suppose if I enter 144, if I do factorial of every digit of factorial 1 with some factorial 4 plus factorial 4. So factorial 1 value come 1, factorial 4, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 1 plus this value come 24, 4 into 3 into 2, 24 and this value also come 24. So if you do sum, then the value come 49. 24 plus 24, 48, 48 plus 1, 49. So 49 equal to 144. So it's not equal. So this is a not a, a strong number. So let's uh, do it in programming. Next, I am going to discuss about the dry and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function here after that coincide. So, I have taken six integer variable. First is n, second i, next fact, next frame, awesome. and uh, sum in is rise to 0 next variable temp
So here after print a function, so whatever I double code that display into the output screen into the number and whatever I am going to enter, so that received by M. So I am going to enter N value 145. So here after N value go to TAM. So TAM become 145. And uh, next control comes to value. Check the condition 145 greater than 0. Condition is true. So that coincide. Here I value initialized to 1. Fact value initialized to 1. Here after rem equal to n mod 10. So n value is 145 mod 10. So if you divide 145 by 10. So remainder come 5. And it divide by 10 times. No sorry 14 times. If you divide 145 by 10, so you divide by 14 times and add here remainder come 5. So the uh, mod, modulus operator give the remainder. So now our uh, ring become 5. And again that comes to linear while loop. So i less than equal to rim. So i value is now 1, rim value is now 5. So 1 less than equal to 5, condition is true. So that coincides fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is now 1, 1 into i value is now 1, 1 into 1, the value come 1. Hereafter i increase. So i is now 2. Again that go up, check the condition 2 less than equal to rim value is 5. 2 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so that coincides, so add here, fact equal to fact into i, so 2 into fact value is now 1, i value is 2, 1 into 2, fact become 2, here after i increase, so i is 3 now, check the condition, 3 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so fact equal to fact into i, so fact value is now 2, and i value is now 3, 2 into 3, fact become 6. Here after i increase, so i is 4 now. That go up, check the condition, 4 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so that coincides right here. Uh, fact value is 6, i value is 4, so 6 into 4, fact become 24. Now here after i increase, so i is now 6. So right here, check the condition, 6. Sorry, i is now 5. 4 to 5. I increase by 1, so I become 4 to 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 5. Condition is true, so that coincides. So add here fact equal to fact into i. So 24 into i, uh, 24 into 5, so fact become 120. Hereafter, i is now 6. 5 to 6. I increase by 1, so i is now 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. Condition is or not true, so that not coincide. Here after control comes to this point, sum equal to sum plus fact. So sum value is now 0, 0 plus, fact value is 120. So 0 plus 120, fact uh, sum become 120. Here after n equal to n by 10, so 145 by 10, so it divide by 14 times, so n become 14. So from here, that go up and check the condition 14 greater than 0 condition is true so that coincide here i become 1 i say 1 and fact 1 fact 1 and rem equal to n mod 10 so at your n value is now 14 14 mod 10 so remainder come at your 4 so rem become 4 now here after that coincide while i less than equal to rim. So i value is now 1, rim value is now 4. So 1 less than equal to 4, condition is true, so that coincides so right here. Fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is now 1, i value is 1. 1 into 1, fact become 1. Here after i increase, so i is 2 now. Check the condition, 2 less than equal to rim value is 4. 2 less than equal to 4, condition is true, so that coincide. So right here. Fact value is 1, i value is 2, 1 into 2, fact become 2. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Check the condition, 3 less than equal to 4, condition is 2, so that coincides, so fact equal to fact into i. So 
So 2 into i value 3, 2 into 3, fact becomes 6. Here after i increase, so i is 4 now. Check the condition, 4 less than equal to 4, condition is true. So that coincides, fact equal to factor into i. So fact value is 6, i value is now 4. 6 into 4, fact becomes 24. Here after i increase, so i is 5 now. So at here, check the condition, 5 less than equal to ring value is 4. So 5 less than equal to 4, condition is not true, not coincide here. So I'm equal to sum plus fact. So sum value is now 120, fact value is 24. So that become 1 or 44. Here after control comes to this point, n equal to n by 10, so 14 by 10, so n, it divide by 1 time, so n become 1. So here after check the condition, 1 greater than 0, condition is true, so i value start from 1, and fact is start from 1 again. And here after, rim equal to n mod 10, so n value is uh, 1. 1 more 10, so rim become 1. And while, check the condition, i less than equal to rim. So i value is now 1, rim value is 1. 1 equal to 1, condition is 2, so that coincide. So after fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is 1, i value 1. 1 into 1, fact become 1. i increase, so i is 2 now. Check the condition, 2 less than equal to rim. So rim value is 1, 2 less than equal to 1, condition is not 2, not coincide. So sum equal to sum plus fact. So sum value is now 144 and fact value is 1. So this becomes 145. Here after n equal to n by 10. So 1 by 10, n become 0. n value is 1, 1 by 10, so n become 0. Check the condition, 0 greater than 0. Condition is not true, so that not coincide. Here after control comes to this point, if sum equal to tan. So sum value is now 145 and tam value 145. So condition is true, so that coincide at here. Percent D because uh, tam is integer tam, so uh, this display tam value. So tam value is now 145. So 145 is a, a strong number. And hereafter that out for main function. So if you enter 145, then output come 145 is a, a strong number. This time I am going to enter n value 143. So n value go to tan. So tan become 143. Now check the condition n greater than 0. Why? n greater than 0. So 143 greater than 0. Condition is true. So that coincide. So i value is now 1. Fact is 1. Rim equal to n more 10. So one more, uh, 143 more 10. So remainder come at here 3. So rim become 3 now. Or here after while inner while loop. So i less than equal to rim value is 3. So 1 less than equal to 3 condition is true. So that coincide. Fact equal to fact into i. So 1 into 1. Fact become 1. Here after i increase. So i is 2 now. Or check the condition 2 less than equal to 3 condition is true. So that coincide. So fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is 1 and i value is now 2. So 1 into 2, fact will count 2. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Or check the condition, 3 less than equal to. Or 3, condition is true, so that coincide. Add your fact will to fact into i. So fact value is 2, i value is 3. 2 into 3, fact will become 6. Here after i increase, so i is 4 now. Check the condition, 4 less than equal to 3, condition is not true, so that not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. Sum equal to sum plus fact. Sum value is now initially in initialized to 0. And fact value is 6. So 0 plus 6, fact become or sum become 6. Now here after n equal to n by 10. So 143 by 10. So it divide by 14 times. So here after that go up and check the condition 14 greater than 0. Condition is true. So that coincides. So i value initialized to 1 and fact value initialized to 1. So I have to rim equal to n more 10. So 14 more 10. So rim, rim become 4. Remainder come 4 at here. So rim become 4. So I have to while i less than equal to rim. So i value is now. 
uh, one and rim value is now four. So one less than equal to four condition is true. So that coincides. So that is fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is one. I value is one. So one into one fact become one. Here after i increase, so i is two now. Uh, so that go and check the condition two less than equal to rim. So rim value is now four. Two less than equal to four condition is true. So that coincides fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is now one, and i value is now two. One into two fact become two. Here after i increase, so i is three now. Or check the condition three less than equal to four condition is true. So that coincides fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is two. I value is now three. So two into three fact become six. Here after i increase, so i is now four. That go check the condition four less than equal to rim value is four. So four less four equal to four condition is true. So that coincides. So that is fact equal to fact into i. So fact value is six. Six into four. So fact become twenty four. Here after i increase, so i is five now. Or check the condition five less than equal to four condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after sum equal to sum plus fact. So sum value is now or six six plus fact value is twenty four. So that become thirty. Here after that go. Here after control comes to this point. N equal to n by ten. So it divide by one times. So n become one. Here after check the condition one greater than zero. Condition is true. So i value start from one again. Fact value initialized to one again. So I do rim equal to n more ten. So one more ten. Remainder come one. So rim become one. Here after while i less than equal to rim, so i value is now one, rim value is also one. One equal to one condition is true, so that coincide. Here fact equal to fact into i, so fact value is now one, i value is one. One equal to one condition is true, so that coincide. So fact equal to fact into i, so one into one fact become one. Here i gonna increase, so i is two now. That go check the condition two less than equal to rim value is now one two less than equal to one condition is not true not coincide here sum equal to sum plus fact so sum value is now thirteen and fact value is one so thirteen plus one that become thirty one here after n equal to n by ten so one by ten the value come zero so here after that go check the condition zero greater than zero condition is not true so that not coincide. Here after some value is now I got thirty one and time value is now one forty three. So thirty one double equal to one forty three condition is not true so that coincide as what so at a printer percent D is not a prime is not a strong number so time value comes to this point so at a uh, percent D because time is integer time so at a the output come. 143 is not a, a strong number, and here after that also main function. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next.